Bonjour, mes amis, and welcome to Rendezvous de Cajun. I'm Vincent Fontenot, United States National Park Ranger here in Eunice, Louisiana. And this program, the only one of its kind, is brought to you by Jean Lafitte, National Historical Park and Preserve. Got me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, we'd like to welcome you to Rendezvous de Cajun, especially our Zodico cyclists here tonight. <laughs> I knew I'd get a hoot and holler out of y'all. <laughs> anyway, this program, and it is the only one of its kind, is brought to you by Jean Lafitte, National Historical Park and Preserve, the City of Eunice, St. Landry Parish Tourist Commission, the Cajun French Music Association, the John R. Gilry Allstate Insurance, and a special endowment from the Best Stop Supermarket in Scott, Louisiana. Yay! <laughs> Uh, tonight we have uh, one of the most award-winning bands ever in Cajun music, one of the most popular Cajun dance bands ever that come back together just for you folks. Uh, Mr. Paul Daigle will be out here. And your host tonight, uh, he works down the street. He's the chief cook and bottle washer over at KBON radio station just in the next block. Mr. Paul Marks be here to host the show for you. So without further ado, let's give a warm welcome to Paul Dagg and Cajun Gold.
Merci Chess, Bob. Bonsoir, mes amis. Bien merci pour être ici avec nous. I understand we have some bikers in the house. Woo! Yes, I just took off my spindex there just a few minutes ago. I rode my bike out here. <sighs> about 15 miles. So if I'm a little winded, you know why. Hey, I'm about to begin for Bald Dig and Cajun Gold. C'est le Cajun en or, on appelle ça. Ils sont pour jouer la musique en or, c'est la musique Cajun. Bald Dig, avant qu'ils continuent avec la musique, I'm about introducing everybody in the band. Who? Oh, Lord have mercy. Ken Smith on the fiddle. Okay. All the way from Kinder. Mr. Mark. Lachule, vocal and rhythm. Yeah, and our brand new drummer, Mr. Russell Cormier Jr. And I'm Paul Daigle. I saw him practicing Wednesday night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Daigle. I'm going to continue with a bell voice that's called the voice of Cherokee. Oh. I mentioned that I, I, I rode my bike for 15 miles. I forgot to mention, I jogged the other 25. That's why I got my shoes on. C'est pas vrai ça? Pick up on All right. Tu vas aller à Lafayette, Paul? Allons à Lafayette. Hey, ça c'est une bonne idée.
seat. I, I was asked to make an announcement. Stan Bippus. Stan Bippus. Please move your vehicle. It's blocking the go-go girls that are coming in here just a little bit. Stan Bippus. Please move your vehicle. All right. Oh. Ken, peut-être que vous ne pas. C'est pas son premier rodeo, ça, ici. Let me have some of that cord, you know, my... Lâche le Yeah, what is it? Look at it. They got 150 feet of cord. And they gave me 10. Um, this, this guy is an award-winning fiddle player. Uh, award-winning fiddle player. And uh, he is, uh, he's played, actually, I guess I could say, a, a lot of the parts of the country. You were, uh, you were in Branson for a while, weren't you? No, never played in Branson. Yes, you were. <laughs> Sometimes he forgets. Uh, he also starred in a couple of movies with Clint Eastwood. Uh, wasn't there either. That damn nightlife and them musicians, boy, I tell you, it messes with your mind. All right, then you go ahead and tell us what you did, what you think you did, what you can remember you did. I toured with my uh, father playing fiddle contest for many years after learning from Wallace Cheese Reed from Eunice. That was a great fiddle player from here. Yeah. Also jammed with Lanelle Lelou and Boris Connors for many years when I was a teenager. And then in the 80s, early 80s, all the way through the 90s, toured with D.L. Menard, Mark Savoy, Ann Savoy, and cut several CDs with them and have always played with Paul Daigle, Cajun Gold, since the 80s. Always played, always played a little mix of fiddle contest music. My father and I were uh, competition fiddle players. My family played country music, bluegrass, uh, hold downs, Cajun music. Uh, we always appreciated some of the great fiddle players like Vaughn Reese Connors, Cheese Reed, Rufus Thibodeau was one of my favorites of all time, Doc Guidry. All right. Let me see Ken. And we'll uh, talk to some of the others here a little bit later on. Right now, Kachoska Sapel Kur Farouche.
pas te reprendre Ça me dit que t'es pas bon Personne peut comprendre L'amitié, moi j'ai pour toi Ça fait pas rien quoi t'as fait Ça fait pas rien pour quoi tu veux Tout le monde connaît que je peux pas vivre ma vie sans Le farouche Paul Gag et les Kadja en or. Merci. Il va donner tout un petit bec doux, hein, Paul Un petit bec doux. C'est pas la même chose qu'un poule doux. Il y a du monde qui chante ça, donne-moi un petit poule doux. Non, c'est pas un poule doux, c'est un bec doux. A little kiss, a little sweet kiss, the name of that song. Um, so I introduce you to Kay and uh, let's, walk, let's uh, go on the other side of there. Mark, are you there, Mark? Mark Lajule. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who you played with, where you went and everything. I'm going to let you tell them. 
How long have you been playing uh, Cajun music, boy? Oh, probably 35, 38 years, somewhere in that neighborhood. Started out with Mr. B. Cormier. B. Cormier, where Church he? Point Playboys. Now, Played what? with them for 12 years, yes, sir. You were, you were a young man at that time. Not that you're not now, I'm just well, saying. You know. Be a director de, de Jean Mon. Je parlerai avec M. B. pour tout le temps passé. Je fais une vidéo avec, on a fait un interview. On a parlé de quelques jeunes musiciens qui ont commencé. And uh, you were one of them young ones. I was one of them. Yeah, yeah. and then... Uh, and then Jason Fry, played yeah. with Jason, still playing with Jason, actually. So you kind of like, whoever needs uh, an EG, you're there. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's great. But Paul and uh, Jason are my two main yeah. fans that I grew That's, that's I your pretty much your steady job. Yeah, that's right. Music-wise. That's right. Well, it's good to see you. Good to have you, you with us, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And uh, this guy on the drums right here, y'all heard the name of Russell Cormier? That's not him. No, that's Russell Cormier Jr. Not to be confused with Russell Cormier Sr., which, uh, by the way, is his daddy. We call him Mr. Cheryl Cormier. Ah, is that Cormier Cheryl? <laughs> la Reine de la Côte d'Ion. And Russ, you've been playing for quite a while too, huh? How many years you been playing? About 25 years. Started when he was uh, five years old, I guess. But uh, anyway, it's good to see you. I saw him Wednesday night. Went and listened to Miss Cheryl over at Mickadi uh, Park. It was uh, Mickadi uh, Show, Pelican Park. It was a great show. Tonight, you're doing listening to Paul Degg and Cajun Gold. And uh, Kit Charles, I started a magnificent uh, voice that is called La Voice de la Vie. After this one.
c'est la base de vie. Paul Digg, les Cachets en or. I want to bring a couple of people on the stage right now. Have a little presentation. Wake them and let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Chris Daigle. I'm the mechanic for Cycle Zydeco. This Chris Daigle, and you're the mechanic for Cycle Zydeco. It's a tour, a tour of things. It's a tour of the Acadiana area, the Cajun country. We, uh, we started in Lafayette last Thursday morning. We rode to, say, Martinville for lunch, spent the night in Brobridge. Then we, we left the Brobridge the next morning to go through Orneville, uh, spent the night in Opelousas. Today they went to Fred's Lounge, and then they come through uh, Eunice with the night. And then tomorrow to go back to Lafayette. How about that, huh? All on bikes. I have a problem doing all that in the car. Woo! Where, where are most of the folks from? All over the place. As far away as Hawaii, almost every other state is covered. Now, nah, don't tell me they rode their bike from Hawaii. All right. Lord, they did my day. Come on. And your name? My name is Rhonda Titus, and I was working with the sag wagon, keeping them all watered and fed when they were on the road. We did a... Yes, you sound popular. Yeah, we did a, a, a fun scavenger hunt uh, for three days, and those that did it know what this box means, huh? What does that box mean? A prize. All right. We drew out in the parking lot for day one and Kansas City Crazies. Kansas City Crazies. Y'all come up here. Huh? That, that's what you want? Somebody? Somebody needs to come get the prize. Who's the rep for Kansas City? There it is. Okay, day two was Colorado Kickback Club. Colorado. Where you at, Colorado? Somebody? Somebody from Colorado? Colorado Kickback Club. Colorado Kickback Club. All right, we want to check your saddlebags. We heard about you folks over in Colorado, Mountain High and all that stuff. Yeah, we know. We know what that means now. Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> yeah, we know what kind of high. Damn people from Colorado. How about that, huh? Road their bikes all the way from Colorado. All right. Day three was Flor de Delis. Flor de Lis. Flor de Delis. There they are. But there's not Flor, there's just two. Oh, Flor de Delis. Flor de Delis. All, all three days, they won $70 and a gift bag and a cool ribbon that I made. All right, that's Flor de Delis. Yeah. All right, and this is for? The grand prize for entry into 2015 Zydeco. Keep the brakes. Keep the brakes. Probably if we Jim Rosen Cotter and Mary Walls. All right, Jim and Mary, where y'all at? Where are you folks from? Where are you from? St. Louis. Wow, how about that? Eh? Last time, this is a true story, last time I was in St. Louis on the trip to go up and see my, my daughter and son-in-law and grandkids, I ended up in a hospital right out of St. Louis. I had a knee surgery and had an infection, but it's not just ended up in the hospital. This is a true story, and he might know what hospital I'm talking about. You tell me, have you ever seen a hospital with security guards with rifles? I'm telling you the truth. That's enough to scare the heck out of you. Security guards on top, watching the grounds with rifles. Went in, an emergency room, took about two hours, Brought us to a room, security guard with a gun walking around. My wife went to get a coat. Whoa, where are you going? I'm going to get a coat. Don't matter. You, you can't be in the halls. Get back in the room. I'll get you a coat. 
Yes, sir. So I don't know if you know what hospital I'm talking about, but it's well protected. It's just well protected. And listen, they had a guy next to me. I'm serious when I say this. They brought a guy in. He had been in, a, in an accident. Two guys, one of them talking to the injured guy. He says, you know who did this? He said, yeah, I know who he is. He said, and I'm going to get it. No, no, he said, let me handle it. I'll put a cap in him. <laughs> I told my wife, I said, I think they want a cap. Go get one of the cave on caps in the car. <laughs> said, That's not the kind of cap he was talking about. <laughs> All right, you, you know, anything else? No. That's it. All right, fun ride tomorrow, y'all. Fun ride tomorrow. Have fun. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. <laughs> yeah. Teeth off court. A little short dress. <laughs> Short dress at these off court. Well, we talked to uh, Ken, we talked to Mark, we talked to Russell. Let's talk a little bit to Paul Dig. Yeah, Paul Dig. Paul, how's it going, Mr. Paul? It's good. Morris? From Church Point. Yes, sir. Point you are uh, point from Point Noir. La Point Noir, oui. More precise. Hey, je connais tes jours la musique, mais ça c'est pas pour une vie. You got a real job. Got a real job. Got a real job. Got Cajun Gold Body Shop. Cajun Gold Body Shop. In between Branch and Church Point in the country. 
Yeah, I went over there a while back. Said I couldn't do nothing for my body. <laughs> Found out it was for automobiles. Oh, well. Anyway, you've been playing music for a long time, though, right? Yes, sir. How long? By God, 46 years. Wow. Wow, that's great, Paul. 40, 46 years. Yeah. And, not, uh, not, not, I still don't call this professional. I mean, because I still do it. I do this for fun. Sure, for the love hobby. of it. Yeah. But uh, basically played on the back porch, played for mom and dad, played, oh. for, played at the house until I was probably 20, probably 23 years old, I guess. Yeah. And then... Uh, Great memories there, though. Huh? Very good memories. Yeah, sitting and on then, the porch, mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> making them proud of you. And you made a lot of us proud of you. I want to let you know that. Thank you for been, your it's, contribution. It's been a good man. ride. Thank you for your contribution to our great music. Thank you. Thank, thank you all. Without the people, it yeah. would be nothing. Without you know, the crowd. We're talking about award winning. He's an award winning accordion player. He's won uh, several accordion uh, player of the year awards. He never did star in a movie with Clint Eastwood, but he's done well <laughs> with that accordion. How they say that? How Clint Eastwood said, man's got to know his limitations. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Paul Dag and Cajun Gold. Thank you. Here's uh, something called The Waltz of No Return. Now, I asked Paul, I said, Paul, I'm always confused. How do you say Waltz of No Return in French? He hesitated, crashed his head. We scratched our head with the uh, La Waltz of No Return. Or like my grandma would say, la vase, viens plus chez toi, mon petit fils. Tu vas te passer toi. That's how my grandma would say that song. The walls of no return. <laughs>
And that was the Walsh on the return. Paul Dick and Cajun Go. Here's something called uh, Knock It Wild. C'était un bon danseur, non que toi, c'était un courtiseur. À son du soir, il va au bas, pour danser avec Chanteloup. Most of y'all, or a lot of you know about Tina Holm. Tina Holm was in the hospital the other day over in Lafayette. Tina Holm sitting on the bed. A young nurse near the hospital rolls uh, in with a, she went in with a, rubbing, uh, not a wheelbarrow. <laughs> That's another, another Tina Holm joke. She come in with a, with a wheelchair. She says, uh, uh, get in the wheelchair, sir. He said, oh, I don't need it, sir. It's our policy. Please, get in the wheelchair. He gets in the wheelchair. She rolls out the door, down the hallway, in the elevator, downstairs. Down the hallway, she gets outside. She says, "So is your wife with you?" He said, "Oh yeah." Well, where is she? He said, "Well, she was in the bathroom changing. She just got discharged today." <laughs> ah, Tino. I think it was pa uh, Paul Daigle. I think it was Paul Daigle. I'm not sure. Tino and Clotilde went out to listen to Paul Daigle. I think it's at La Poussière. I'm not sure, but I think that's where it was. They were on the way home. Being very careful, taking the back roads to try to avoid traffic. 
Oh, red light comes on behind him. Oh, Lord. Pulls off to the side. State trooper, come to the window. He not. He not roll down the window. The state trooper says, excuse me, sir. I just want to let you know you have a tail light that's burned out. Clotilde says, ha, I told you. I told you that two weeks ago. Can I change that light? Uh, okay, officer, I'll take care of it. Officer goes to, to leave. He notices. Sorry, he says, your inspection sticker is like three months past due. Ha, 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 I knew you'd get caught. I, I, did I tell you? I told you that two months ago. To get the car inspected. Sir, I'm sorry, I'll have to see your driver's license. <laughs> Sir, your driver's license is four months expired. Ah, what I told you. I told you you're going to get caught. I told you to get that license renewed. Clotilde, will you please shut up? The officer says, ma'am. Does he talk to you like that all the time? She said, oh no, just when he's drunk. <laughs> yeah, speaking of being drunk, I don't, I don't want y'all to do this. It's just a thought how funny it would be if somebody would do it. I don't, I don't want you to do this. I've never done this. But you went, to, you went to a celebration and you had a few drinks and you're going down the road and sure enough, Police call light comes on behind you. This is what you do. Uh, don't do it, but it, 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 it just it would be funny if you would do it, but, but don't do it. Okay, police car, you stop, you hurry up, and you get in the passenger seat. You get in the passenger seat, and you, you lean back, and you close your eyes, and you snore it. Imagine the police officer comes to the window. Police officer goes around. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, uh. You wrote down the window. Uh, uh. Police officer says, Excuse me, are you driving this vehicle? Heck no, I'm drunk. I can't drive. Well, who's driving? Well, my, my friend. I said, I met somebody at the party and he was driving me home. Where's my friend? You can figure out the rest of the story. But wouldn't that be funny? Don't do it. Don't do it. But it would be funny if you did. If you did, let me know about it. Yeah. Y'all got one of these, I'm sure. Y'all got one of these? A smartphone. Woo! My daughter gave me this two weeks ago. She said, Daddy, you're going to love it. I said, I don't know what to do with it. You'll figure it out. You'll learn it. Two weeks, I've learned how to call somebody. I'm trying to learn how to answer when somebody calls me. But it's only been two weeks. Speaking of smartphones, don't it get to you when you, you're driving along and you see somebody texting? I was going down I-10. I'm doing 70 miles an hour. A small convertible pulled up, passed me by. I looked, there's a young girl, probably no more than 17, 18 years old. I'm doing 70. She passes me up and I notice she, she got her phone. Oh, and she's a Texan, she's a Texan, she's a Texan. Well, that got me mad. So I speed up. I almost couldn't even catch her. She was going so fast. I finally got right on the side of her. I blew the horn. <laughs> she didn't notice. I got so mad, I threw my beer at her. <laughs> she didn't even notice. <laughs> anyway, I reached for the back seat, the ice chest, to give me another beer. I almost got in a wreck. So I learned, don't put your ice chest in the back seat. Put it next to you. I would have had it next to me, but I was watching some videos on my laptop of some of our Cajun musicians. And, but anyway, that's just some advice I want to give you. Oh, boy, let me tell you. 
I love to go crabbing. I learned something last time I went crabbing. A lot of you, I'm sure, like to go, I mean, you, you like to eat ball crabs. You like to go crabbing, you like to go crabbing. Isn't that fun? Now, if, if you go crabbing, and depending on where you are, sometimes it's hard to get the crab up. You just about get them up, poof, to get away. Especially if you're using melt. Somebody gave me this secret, at least it was a secret to me, and I want to pass it on to you. This is hosiery, right? Uh, Y'all know what this is? Well, you, you take one of these, you put your melt inside. You might have to put a rock or something to hold it down, but it's true. You put your melt inside, you tie your string, right? you tie all that, you throw it in. Now, when the crab comes to get the melt, the crab will get stuck on the hosiery. You know, it's, it's, it can't get away. You pull it up, you got your crab. That's how my wife caught me 45 years ago, except it was petty hose. But that's another story. Hey, let's put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Paul Dig and Kitchen Gold. It's a good music. It's the most important music on the station. There are a lot of good music. There are a lot of magnificent musicians in Louisiana. But for us, for our heritage and culture, it's the most important music on the show. It's the most important music. And Tony said, you know, we always uh, recognize the musicians who are up on the stages and everything. But a lot of musicians out there playing Cajun music that you never hear about. You never see the little jam sessions or at the little house parties. And the fact that they're playing Cajun music, wherever it may be, is a big help in keeping the music alive. Paul Dick, you play No. No. And you play that. Ça, ça veut dire qu'il ne faut pas d'intimer plus parce que ça, ici, c'est sur le radio. Ce n'est pas, pas juste sur le télévision, c'est sur le radio. Et quand tu parles pas sur le radio, ça s'appelle ça « Dad qui mort »,« Dead air ».« Dead air ». Ça fait qu'on ne veut pas de ça. « Tu vois qu'on est ça. « Dead air »,« Dead air »,« Dead air »,« Dead air »,« Let's get it ».
sagt bald Borschad. Hallo, oh, das ist er. Und wenn was geht, so ist es ein Berge, ein Körkassé. Ich habe einen Broken Heart. Baldi. Still got some uh, some bikers in the house. Oh, I was told uh, over 300 of y'all came in tonight. I really, really am impressed. Thank y'all so much. If it's a little warm, I was also told that the air conditioning system is uh, either out or it's not operating properly, and, and that makes it extremely warm up here with the lights and everything. So if um, I just want to tell you that in case one of us passes out, you'll know what it is. Seriously, the first time I, I emceed this thing a few years ago, I was overwhelmed with being up here, thinking about all the past musicians who have uh, been on this stage. I, I, I nearly passed out. I really did. I remember looking at these curtains and I'm thinking if I go to go down I'm grabbing these curtains I hope they don't come down then I thought about it. if I pass out and fall off the stage they're gonna have a really hard act to follow but I managed to get back there get some water and everything was all right but it's just the y'all have no idea or maybe you do the legends that have been up here so it's it's a privilege to be on the same stage here's another legend Paul Day and Kedron Gold. That's how you said. Say, uh, uh, Kajet Church Pratt. That's you.
A lot of folks are curious because my last name is Marks, M A R X. It said Marks. That's not a Cajun name. You don't have to have a Cajun name to be Cajun. You have to be raised in the culture, have it in your heart, believe in it, support it. That's what makes you a Cajun. What if I did? I'm sure. More shoe congestion. Don't be fooled by that last name. Paul Dig, Dig, that's a that's a Cajun. I want to ask you, Paul. Uh, since y'all been playing, since y'all been playing music quite a while, I know I know y'all gonna remember this. Some of you might remember the old nightclubs, the old dance halls, the big dance halls. Y'all remember that? You used to have these, like uh, the Triangle Club, the Pelican Club, I think was the they one. They were almost all gone by the time I started. Playing. Okay. Triangle Club was still there. Triangle, yeah, but, I saw y'all play the Triangle. But most of the rest of them. All gone, Borks. Well, I don't know if, if, if you remember, they used to have, like, you could walk in and uh, watch the band. It was, like, blocked off, and the, 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 the table area was there, and you had to pay. Back then, it was like a dollar to get in. A lot of empty tables. People didn't want to pay. They'd listen, and they danced right there. So what it did, they decided to let people in, sit down, and only charge you if you got up to dance. They had a roll of tickets. They would walk around and they would staple a ticket to your shirt collar if you were dancing. Awesome. 
and they collect a dollar right there. Well, that worked pretty good until the collector was on the other end. Hey, eat that another say. Excuse me, you don't see me don't see? No, I see. My, my jambes, I didn't have to move it on my jambes, my legs. I had to stretch my legs. Get away from paying that dollar. Don't put that ticket. I ain't paying a dollar for that ticket. Y'all, you're too young for that, huh? Yeah, that's a uh, good. But it was, I, re I remember a dollar had to come in in Louisburg. Yeah, yeah. When I was playing, when we started in Louisburg, it was a dollar had to come in. Well, maybe it was reversed. Maybe there was that, and then that didn't work. They went to the dollar ahead. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, come on. Here's another tune for Paul Digg. And this is one of my favorite waltzes. Done by Phil Menard and Ivy Dugan. Tonight you can hear by Paul Digg and Cajun Gold. See, I've asked the Heritage, the Heritage Waltz.
Yes, indeed. Beautiful heritage walls. All right, let's get a little exercise. Let's do a little hop, skip, and jump. So he said, take a shot, shot, finish, but give me the apple today. I woke up crying. Les gens les 
ça t'a dit Quand t'as parti pour t'en aller avec un homme Hey Mr. Smith To the couple right here, the man with the red shirt, the lady in black with the suspenders and the fan. Yes, how y'all doing? I'm bringing that idea at home. Hey, mama, guess what? You're gonna follow me around with a fan, baby. I saw it done. They can do it. You can do it. I'll let you know how that works out, all right? Hey, I want to take this time seriously to thank you so much for sharing some of your time with us here at the Liberty Theater. Thank you all so much. Please tell everybody about this theater. It's very, very important. We need to get the admission up. We need to keep this going. We need to keep it open. We can't do it without people coming to see the shows. So get your friends, come out, go out and eat us and uh, have a meal and come out to the theater or vice versa. Just come out and support this wonderful venue. And for the final number. Hey, Crowley. But, but before we do, Let's give a big hand. Ken Duga, Mark Latchere, Russell Carmier Jr., and Paul Daigle, and Cajun Gold! 